Okay, so with these harder questions, they're actually not that much harder. All it is, is you have to get the information out of the sentence. So you just have to practice that. So let's see what we can see. A sound wave has a frequency of this 3.43 kHz. That's a little different to what we're used to. And a wavelength, a wavelength of 0.1 meters. Calculate the speed of sound. All right, so I always start by writing what I know. So I know that the frequency is 3.43 and I'm going to include all of that unit there. It looks a bit strange, but we'll deal with that in a second. The wavelength is 0.1 meters and what I want to find is the speed of sound. So I'm going to put B equals question mark. That's what I'm trying to find out. So <clears throat> what do I do with this strange unit here? Well, if you look on the side, it actually tells you how to convert kilohertz into hertz. So just think of this for a second. Kilo means 10 to the power of three or 1000 times. So a kilometer is 1000 meters. One kilometer equals 1000 meters. So one kilohertz is equal to 1000 hertz. Okay, so that is what's called the conversion factor. And they've given you a little hint over here to be able to do that. So what do you do? You write out the equation in the format that you need. So V equals what? I cover up my V over here. Oops. I pretend that that's all covered up. I cover that up and I go, it's F multiplied by lambda. So V equals F lambda. Oh, sorry. V equals F lambda. Okay, and then I plug in my numbers and I always write it underneath. Okay, that's how you do good setting out. So F is, I'm not going to put the kilohertz because I'm actually going to convert it into hertz. So I should have done this over here. What that really is, is 3.43 times a thousand hertz. That's what it really is. So I put that 3.43 times a thousand or if you calculate that, it's actually 3,430 hertz. I'll just won't put the units for now. See? Yes, I will. Hertz. And the wavelength is 0.1 times 0.1 meters. So I calculate that all out. And what I get is 3,400 times, oopsie, 0 0.1 is equal to? 340 and then what my units are for velocity is meters per second and that's it that's how complicated it is so just to recap the steps step one write what you know write what you know v equals blah 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 f equals blah 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 and lambda equals blah 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 put a question mark next to the ones that you don't know number two oops didn't mean to go pink but that's okay convert any units okay that's the challenging the most challenging that it's going to get okay all right let's try another example and i just realized i've been saying lambda without actually um telling you how to write it this is lambda lambda okay lambda it's a greek letter all right it's like a little upside down y Alrighty. Okay, so Dr. Edmonds strangely decides to sing to the class and sings with a frequency of 6.86 kilohertz and a wavelength of this. Calculate the speed. So first what we do is write out what we know. And then the second thing that we do is um, convert any units. So what do we know? We know the frequency. Frequency is 6.86 kilohertz. Uh, wavelength is, oops, wavelength is 0 0.05 meters. We're going to do our conversion because that is our second step. Kilohertz is times by a thousand hertz, 6.86 times by a thousand hertz is equal to 6,860 hertz. That's cool. All right. And then what do we don't know? We don't know the speed or velocity. I know I keep saying speed, but for your purposes, velocity and speed are the same thing. So velocity is what we don't know. We use our triangle. We get our, our equation. V equals F times lambda. And then we substitute our values. So do that yourself and then check your answer with me. Okay.
So that's my answer, 343 meters per second. Uh, did you set it out properly? Did you make sure that you use the converted version of the um, frequency? All right, let's do question nine. All right, so let's do the rest. So question nine says, what do we know? Speed equals 550 meters per second. We know frequency equals 11 kilohertz and we don't know wavelength. We're going to convert that, convert that, sorry, into hertz, 11,000 hertz. And we're going to set up our wave equation. Lambda equals V on F. Okay, so check your answer with me. All right, is that what you got for question nine? Okay, let's try question 10. What do we know? Speed, velocity is... 250 meters per second. Uh, frequency equals 15 kilohertz, which is 15,000 hertz. Wavelength is unknown. So it's the same format of the wave equation. Plug in the values you know. Velocity is 250. Frequency is 15,000. Hertz, and our final uh, wavelength, sorry, see, is 250 divided by 15,000. Oh, very small number. We're not going to include all of that because it's ridiculous. So we're just going to have two significant figures. One, seven would be the rounding to that. Six rounds up to seven. Six, six, six rounds up to seven. So that's meters. Question 11. Question 11 is a little bit different because we have no, not meters here, we have centimeters. So we have to convert the meters into centimeters and they've provided you a little hint how to do that here too. So I'm just going to erase all that and we'll do that. Okay, so question 11 says the speed, velocity is 3, and I'm going to start using scientific notation so you practice, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. So... So times 10 to the power of 8. Whoopsie. Times 10 to the power of 8. That's what that means. If I wanted to write it out, 8 zeros, be my guest. But I'm going to try and teach you guys how to use scientific notation. So well, that's velocity. Then we have the frequency is um, uh, 10. Sorry, we don't know that. Calculate the frequency. And the wavelength is 10 centimeters. But we can't use centimeters. Why? Because in the wave equation over here, I'll show you, wavelength is in meters. That's why. If we put centimeters in here, we'll get funky results for the hertz and the meters and the velocity. So you have to put in the values that are the units, sorry, that are given here. And therefore, the other one that you get will make sense. If you put in centimeters here, you won't get meters per second. You'll get centimeters per second. So it doesn't make sense. You have to put in the um, these three units. That's it. So that means, all that means is we have to convert 10 centimeters into meters. So um, 10 centimeters, think of to yourself, should be less than one meter. Right? If you think to yourself, 10 centimeters should obviously be less than one meter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 10 by 100. Okay? And what that's going to give me, 10 divided by 100, is 0.1. So 10 centimeters is 0.1 meters. Okay? So I'll put that over here. 0.1 meter. And then it's... Back to basics. We've done this so many times now. Write out my equation. F equals V on lambda. Write out my values. Velocity is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And my wavelength is, I'm not going to put the 10 centimeters. That would be a mistake. I'm going to put my 0 0.1 meters. I don't like it when it converts it like that. 0 0.1 meters. And then I'll plug that into the calculator. Alrighty, now what I want to do is find my scientific calculator and actually be able to use this times 10 to the power of. So what I do is I go 3 multiplied by, and I find this 
function here that's the power of so I put multiply by 10 to the power of 8 and I get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 zeros and I know that that's right so that divided by 0 0.1 is gonna be 3 and 9 zeros after it so I'm going to write 3 times 10 to the power of 9 and frequency is measured in Hertz alrighty cool so all right our last question question 12 you've done so well so this question is pretty weird because it doesn't actually give you two pieces of information so let's go through it so we have here our wavelength it is 0 0.05 centimeters okay we already know that we have to convert that and then it wants the frequency but it's not giving us the velocity okay that's so confusing how can we possibly find out two variables from one equation it's mathematically impossible so what that means is they're assuming that we know something in the question so let's have a think it's assuming that you know that microwaves are a type of light waves and all light waves travel at the same speed which is called c which is oops that's supposed to be a c c which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Okay, I'm just going to double check that. Yep, we have good old Google saying that light is 2.99 times 10 to the um, 8 meters per second. So, therefore, we put that in for velocity. I'm just going to round it off because you don't need to worry about being super precise. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And then, same thing. Frequency equals velocity over wavelength equals velocity is 3 times 10 to the 8. Think about that for a second. Light travels at 3 billion meters per second, but it is not instantaneous, which is why it still takes time for light to reach us from the sun. Pretty cool. Um, our wavelength is 0 0.05 centimeters, and I nearly forgot to convert that into meters. Whoa, whoa. So what you need to think is to yourself, how am I going to do that? Well, it says it over here, you divide by 100. So 0 0.05 divided by 100, it's going to be an even smaller number. It's going to be one, two zeros to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.0005 meters. And then that's going to be such a huge number, 0 0.0005 meters. And if I plug that into my calculator, I've got three, whoopsie, I've got three times 10 to the power of eight divided by 0 0.0005. And look at that, how many zeros is that? Do you see why scientific notation is handy now? So six times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 10 to the 11 hertz. Cool beans. All right, now we're done. Good job, guys.